We have blocked roads linking the north to the east, ranging from Benue to Plateau. Dr. Adulai, my people, they say, Wala, be like bicycle, not the finish. You know, say so yesterday we can't hear one news. Say, nothing has come, they turn their food, you know, food stocks back. Those people, when they bring food, they come southeast. They come, they turn them back. So, no more food for the southeasterners. Record that this is not even the first time they have done this. Last year, they did something like this, like this too, for like one week or two weeks there about. Even their people say, when get the, the, the food stops, come, they cry. Say then they lost plenty of money. Which kind of be this? They are, they are tomatoes. They are, in fact, all those, they are perishable gurus. Come just they, they spoil for their hands. Say, made the evil, allow them, they go, they sell their, you know, their, their food items. So, Adulai, now, Dr. Adulai, have reported that, that they have blocked roads linking the north to the east, ranging from Benue to Plateau. Okay, so no more food for Southeasterners. Maybe we even hear the news. May we know why then they do this. But before then, guys, if you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. With the unending surgeons in the Southeast and the recent attacks reportedly being made by the indigenous people of Biafra group, foot soldiers on fellow Nigerians in the region, the Northern Consensus Group has bicorted food delivery to the southeast. The group have declared a three days warning strike to the southeast to solve the problem before it gets too late. The leader of the Northern Consensus Group, Dr. Awar Adulai, stated that they are furious because the southeast governors have refused to heed to their initial warnings to stop the IPOP group. He added that their actions right now is to show the Southeasterners that they mean business. He also noted that the truck drivers have understood their stance and that no food supply will be made to the Southeast for the next few days. He said, we have blocked the roads linking the north to the east, ranging from Benue, Nasarawakwara and Plateau, and among others, and the truck drivers are cooperating with us. So guys, what's your take concerning this? The Northern have said they have blocked roads linking to the north, to the southeast, ranging from Benue to Plateau, to southeast, okay, because of um, attacks in the southeast region. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted. The poorest region in the entire Africa is withdrawing food from the richest region. <laughs> Start by withdrawing your killer hairs men from the southeast. Make una block them well away. They will equally block their own supply to the north, including fresh supply. It's well coming from the southeast or south south. I hope this matter would be resolved soonest too as only the vulnerable people will suffer the consequences. Their actions are, or actions will cause them wastage and loss of money, breeding more poverty. Despite the war in Ukraine, they will manage to supply gains, okay? They still manage to supply gains to many nations. Remember the last time you tried it, now your farmers beg as their farm produce perish. We they mind the idiot for this. His mind, he thinks, say, he's doing us anyhow. Block everywhere, who cares? Okay, these are reactions by Nigerians and they keep on talking. The Southeast Nigeria should use is this opportunity to create enabling environment for self-sufficiency in food production. In as much as I am not supporting insecurity in the Southeast, remember that the Fulani Hesmen are also contributing to kidnapping, abductions, and killing all over Nigeria, and nobody has said anything. Anyhow, you want Nigeria to be, the Igbo man can always survive. 
So don't think that Igbos will suffer most. The condition of Nigeria today is caused by the North with their hold onto power, yet they are not willing to let Nigeria grow, advance like other countries. On the average, Igbo man will always survive without northern foods, even if they need food from neighbors, cross rivers, okay? People must surely survive. We are not poor people. Okay, someone said, look at this criminal. So you don't block road because of Boko Haram, you swap ICs, and bandage slaughtering northerners, but you block road because of IPOP, and you are a leader in the north. You people have no future, and you will die in your sin. Okay, Isaac, you are very correct here. Nice one. That their sins must surely kill them. Take Ben way out. We are not northerners. Please, we don't speak the same language. Okay, so just leave us alone. Who likes you in the first place? Go join the Eagles. Kudos. You are a middle you are a middle bird, not the useless call northern state with wicked religion that believes in killing for Muhammad. Hmm. Have you asked the northern governors to stop the killings of innocent people by Boko Haram and bandits? What has Arab fight done about the killings? Of innocent people in Southern Kaduna. Don't mind them. All. It is because of Christmas they are doing it so that Igbos will not enjoy the Christmas. Oil yeah, pipeline from east to the north shall be disrupted. Forthwith, let's settle the madness once and for all. Okay, my people, now Nigerians, they talk all these things. Hmm? This one are Nigerians' reactions. So. We do not get to talk concerning this news. Northern and said they don't block wood. You know, any truck when they carry food, they go southeast. They don't block them. They don't want carry food, go give southeastern as they gain. Say until Igbo governors address the issue on ground. They are taxed in the southeast. If not, say Onga go kill southeasterners. So, my people, what do you think? Do you think this way? actually affect the southeasterners if they eventually you know hold on this their stand kindly share your, your your take below the comment section thank you for always coming out here may god almighty bless you